Hi guys, this is the Rope Blue Arrow XL helicopter which was given to me. So in this part of the video we will try to fix it. Let's get started. Let's start with the transmitter. Spilled out battery acid has heavily damaged the battery compartment. The battery holder is corroded and it doesn't work anymore. The original supply voltage was 12 volts. I decided to use this 2S LiPo with JST connector. 7.4 volts are fine because the voltage of the voltage regulator is just 5 volts. Here you can see the LiPo voltage coming in. You can also see that this Robbe helicopter is a rebranded Volcaro helicopter. Look how deformed this housing is. Here you can see the LiPo which fits perfectly inside the battery compartment. But will it work? Yes. We have an indicating light. Fine. But will it communicate with the helicopter? Yes, it looks like. But this servo is defective. Stripped gears, I assume. Because I don't want to kill myself, I have clamped the helicopter to the table. The next problem which we have to fix is this crack in the main rotor piece. In order to remove this piece, we have to disassemble many many pieces. This is the inner main rotor shaft. The blades are removed as well. This is the top bearing of the upper main rotor. And here you can see the crack again. And this is the new 3D printed replacement part. This is another shot of this part. It was 3D printed in PLA. The next thing to do is to replace the stripped servo. Luckily I found this replacement servo with Metal Gears on Banggood. The link is in the description. But will it fit? Looks like the dimensions are exactly the same. But the gears are metal as well as the shaft. We have to make sure that the servo arm is attached in the right orientation. In order to do that, we use a servo tester. The servo is now ready to be attached. Let's test it again. Ok. But will it work in combination with the remote? Yes, it looks like everything is ok. The zero adjustment also works. Time for the first throttle test. Time for a test with the rotor blades. Will it explode? Oops, those vibrations are not really good. I assume these vibrations should not be a problem, as long as it is not attached to the table. Let's see. Let's try to do some first hover test.
It looks like the grass is not good for a straight takeoff. Yes, it's taking off straight on tarmac. But as you can see, I'm not really able to control this thing. And tarmac could be dangerous for the rotor blades. Now I'm trying to calibrate the gyro. Let's try to take off again on grass. No, this just doesn't work. Maybe this surface is better. Let's try. Oops, next try. Yes, first short lift off. And the second one. Nice. It's a bit too windy today, I think. But it's still alive. Wah, 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 crappy pilot. Time for new rotor blades, I think. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye.